Uh, my name is Brett Williams, uh, former NFL offensive lineman for the Kansas City Chiefs and uh, also for the Florida State Seminoles where I went to college. I grew up in Kissimmee, Florida. I went to a football camp at Florida State my freshman year in high school and uh, they told me as long as I kept my grades up that they were going to offer me a scholarship one day and so my senior year in high school came down to National Signing Day and I knew right away I was always going to go to Florida State so when they sent me the letter and I, I signed it and I, I was excited to get to go play for, for Bobby Bowden and uh, hopefully you know play and compete in some national championships. Uh, when I first got to Florida State, it was really, uh, I, it was eye-opening because I was a, you know, in high school I was USA Today All-American, Parade All-American. Um, every, you know, award I was ranked the number one offensive lineman in the country and when I got to Florida State, the whole team was filled with guys that had awards like that. And, I quickly got humbled my first day of practice going against, you know, future NFL players and uh, and so it was eye opening. Like I thought I was I thought I was, you know, this great player and when I got to Florida State and saw the level of talent there, I realized I had to step my game up to a, a whole nother level. Got to start on the first wire-to-wire -wire, uh, national championship team when we beat uh, Virginia Tech. I was a redshirt freshman. We beat Virginia Tech in the Sugar Bowl for a national championship and was a freshman All-American and then uh, went on to, to start for four years and uh, made many All-American honors, played in another national championship game. and uh, it, was, uh, it was amazing. I found myself, you know, this big old offensive lineman on the cover of these magazines and uh, different things like that. And so it was kind of surreal. And I was like, what, what, are they, what, what are they doing putting me on a magazine? You know, I'm, I'm a lineman. Nobody wants to see the lineman. Playing in the NFL was uh, an amazing experience. Uh, I grew up watching football every Sunday with my dad and my brother and we just we just loved it and then so when I find myself in the NFL the next year you know after college got drafted in the fourth round to the Kansas City Chiefs and played there and I find myself in the locker room uh, or lined up against guys I've been watching on TV since I was you know in high school and even in middle school in some cases with some of the older vets and I kind of had to pinch myself a little bit like is this really happening and uh, I grew up a huge Jerry Rice fan uh, for the San Francisco 49ers and so one day we were, we were playing the Raiders and I was out on the field stretching and I saw uh, Jerry Rice run by me in warm-ups and he was warming up for the Raiders and I was kind of my jaw dropped and I was like I'm on the same field with Jerry Rice and uh, it took a little uh, adjustment period when I got to the NFL to kind of realize you know I, hey I can play with these guys <laughs> I know they were my you know, heroes growing up but I got to play with them now and so once that wore off I started to adjust and play pretty well. My time in the NFL came to a close. I found myself getting hurt all the time. And I, you know, at 25 years old, I was having a hard time, you know, getting out of bed and bending my knees and stuff in the morning. Family's very important to me. I just got married and had, a, had, a, my, had our first son. And I just didn't want to pick them up and take them on that lifestyle where we have to move cities every year to, to stay in the NFL. And so I just decided it was time to, to hang it up. I realized my heart and passion is in coaching and um, Seeing how much time I spent training with some of the best trainers in the world, getting ready for the NFL, I said, I'm gonna open up a training business and that's what I'm doing here now at Apex. It's important for people to stay fit because so many times in life we always have these big dreams to do these, do these things, whether it's a career or sports and, um, or just you know, uh, living a long life or being a good husband or a good father or a good, you know, good wife, good businessman or woman. And, um, a lot of times when our, you know, we, we neglect our bodies in the meantime, pursuing all these things, and that ends up shortcutting, you know, kind of the, our race or our journey uh, and, and affects how much energy we have, how happy we are, how well we think and process stress. And so uh, maintaining the proper fitness level and doing it in a way where you can be consistent with it, you can really change your life for the better. And it, it, it overflows into every area of, area of your life.